put your headphones on or play your music depending on your, where you are. Set a timer for 25 minutes. I am gonna show you my timer as I'm working. So, 25 minutes on the clock. Choose something to work on that you need to work on, okay? And as you're working on that, try your best to stay productive the whole time. The point of you being live on your phone is so you don't get on your phone, okay? So 25 minutes, we are on. And after the 25 minutes, we can check in and see how did you do. And I'm also gonna be working on an email and a newsletter. All right, let's see if I can get all that done. Okay, so again, I'm on mute, I'm working, you're working. Let me know your goal in the chat or the system that you're using to get through or the assignment that you're working on. And again, we'll check in after the 25 minutes, okay? work like that too when you're working do you have to like isolate or, or do you do well in a group of settings people with people um i get distracted very easily but like very easily so i definitely have to be like connected and just focus on what i'm doing otherwise i'll be doing everything else <laughs> i feel like the spongebob music is kind of dancing <laughs> Like we've talked about this before too um i don't know how much you want to say but Wow. 
So what are some of the things you implemented for your transition to be a lot more smooth for yourself? Or successful, I should say. I would say the one, and this to me is the most simple thing. I literally had to write everything down. Mm -hmm. So as I was getting trained in different areas, I had to label it. I have a crazy looking notebook. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> take struggling to transform into persevering because that's the key that's the key especially with transition you have to change your entire system to meet the goals that you want to attain so I'm really really inspired by your ability to be adaptable you know in that new setting and you are in the right place you definitely are in the right place yes you're um, a <laughs> I really Yeah, that's the key. Learn from it and keep moving. You've been teaching me that for years. What about your students that you're working with? Do you see that they have any of the same issues that you face, especially with transitioning out of high school? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of kids. I think it's definitely like ninth graders coming in. It's a, it's a whole different world for a lot of them. definitely get back to that I, I actually don't know what it's going to look like but I know that that um, part of my life has um, space to grow so I'm excited um, I, I look forward to seeing what those seeds that I planted back then grow into as I'm growing this part of the forest <laughs> or garden I should say more appropriate thank you for sharing that because I'm, I'm thinking about your students and when you talked about the plan, like, okay, so for me, when I started blowing up on social media, I didn't really have an end goal in mind outside of supporting the community. I didn't know that I needed to support myself as much as I did. 
And so I needed a plan. I needed a lot of, I think, counsel, um, but I did a lot on my own. And so I'm really glad that those young people have that counsel that they can go to. My question is, especially if there are parents um, listening, is your plan with them the same? Like, are you using one framework that allows you to support them? Or is it more uh, like, you know, um, in the kitchen cooking, like, you know, you know what seasonings each person gets, you know? How does it feel for you? What is it? Yeah, I think it is very different. Um, Like I said, you know, here um, I am in the area called um, North Druid Hills. So it has, it's not like New York or like Baltimore, we have like, kids who are struggling, right? So it's mainly students who really have a lot already happening good, right? But what I will say is I think what's so important is just everybody has their own thing. Even if they're a high flyer, they have their own personal struggles. That is very apparent to um, a lot of students um, here. And you just have to tap in where they are at that time and sometimes especially nowadays I, I love Instagram but we, we have everybody thinking that they're going to be an influencer so a lot of the conversation is what do we really want to do and how do you want to do it if you want to be an influencer what does that mean and how, what steps are you going to take to get there so it's really having like good conscience based on reality and based on how hard a student is going to work to get to where they really want to be. Yes, that is the key. I love that. And, well, they can be influencers. Like you said, they have to think about what are they influencing. There's so much that comes with that. I mean, there's so many types of influencers. So it is an avenue that probably requires a class within itself on the secondary level. If y'all need me to come down and teach that class or virtually, just let me know. But, <laughs> you know, I'm just playing. But, no, that was really helpful to hear, um, especially with you being a mom. So you you have transitioned. You, you have the experience firsthand and with, yeah. with the children. So thank you for sharing as an expert um, your own issues with ADHD and how those are more like triumphs for you now and yeah. success stories. So thank you for sharing that. I'm personally inspired by you, the work that you're doing You don't tie yourself down into one pocket, right? You're going to move where the most high wants you to move. So just remember that, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I always have looked up to you. Always still look up to you. So thank you for coming yeah, this morning. I love, you. I love I you more. You. I miss you more. I have to get down there now to come see you. But this yeah. was the perfect treat. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Thank I you for dropping, Jim. Love you. Love you more.